If you're experiencing leaking, a flowing noise, or freezing, you may have a problem with your trim. First, do a quick check to make sure you have sufficient spring tension. Then check your accessories to see if the output signal is at zero. If both of these check out, then you'll need to inspect your trim. Before you do anything else, you'll want to take a few steps to ensure safe handling of the valve. First, isolate the valve from the system. Then shut off all supply lines to the actuator and release the process pressure for both upstream and downstream. Finally, vent the actuator supply pressure. To disassemble the valve, remove the spring tension and then remove the bonnet. Measure the distance between the spring adjustment nut and the stem connector so you can return to that location upon reassembly. Our 2700 maintenance video shows how to disassemble the valve in detail, so I'll just do it quickly here. Remove the bonnet from the valve to inspect the trim. Visually inspect the interior of the valve. Look at the plug and seat to make sure there's no corrosion, dings, or damage of any kind. Once you've disassembled your valve, you can inspect the valve plug and seat for signs of erosion, pitting, scratches, or other damages. A magnifying glass may be helpful here. Fit the plug and seat together. While looking into the bottom of the seat, hold the trim against a bright light. If any light can be seen between the plug and seat contact surfaces, you may have poor seat conditions. Determine the severity of the damage. Many times, the plug and seat contact surfaces can be fully restored by relapping. Replace any products that cannot be restored. If the stem has been removed, examine the stem for pitting, scratches, or any other damage. If any damage cannot be removed by polishing the stem, replace the stem. For the best possible performance and operation, you should always use genuine Norris Seal parts when replacing the trim. If the plug or seat needs to be replaced, Norris Seal will supply you a matched set that contains both pieces. Finally, you'll reassemble the valve by reversing the order of disassembly. Actuate the valve several times, and you're done. For more information on troubleshooting your Norris Seal Series 2700 control valves, visit us online at www.norisseal.com.